Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the next video in the UiPath product update playlist. And today we are going to discuss about an activity which is called wait for download. This is a pretty easy to use activity but is extremely useful. This video is a part of the playlist. What you are looking on the screen is a UiPath product updates. We have covered three more videos on the series that includes cursor motion type, UiPath I to edge migration and kill process for the current user. In case if you are not aware of any of this, I'll put the links in the description and you can refer that. Coming back to our video that is wait for download activity. So what exactly is going to happen in this video? So first of all, I am going to define an automation use case or a problem statement where the objective is to just to download a file from the browser. First, we'll try to develop the automation without using the wait for download activities. We'll see how the automation is working and what are the challenges. After that, we are going to see how exactly can we utilize the wait for download activity in this scenario. And then we compare that what are the benefits we got. And at the last, we are going to explore the docs.uipart.com and read the official documentation. Also, in the description of this video, you will find all the relative links and there is a timestamps also available like this. This is for an another video, but same you will find in this video also. If in case you want to jump to a specific section, you can just click on the timestamp and the video shall navigate to that point. Okay, so having said that, let's get started. I am in my UiPath Studio and uh, prior directly jumping to the automation, let us see the use case which we have today. Okay, so I have a website open in front of me. The website is fileexamples.com. And assuming that I am writing an automation where I have to download some of the file from this website. So let me try to show it to you manually. So we have to open this website. I have to go this one which says sample documents. Post that I have to select that what kind of document I have to download. Let's say I have to download the XLSX. So I would have to click here. Now based on the size i have to uh, click on the download sample file let's say i want to download this one which is 670 kb and 5000 records so i have to click here and it downloads the file and the file is available in my download so as you can see at the top the file is downloaded right so if i have to do this same automation in uipath studio what how do i start right and now after that, I am going to show you what are the benefits of using the wait for download activity. Okay, so let me go here and I will create a workflow. I'll call it traditional way of download. I'll hit create. Okay, so now I am just going to show you quickly how exactly we used to do without this activity and what are the differences. So if I have to do the same automation, what I do, I have to click and activity, which is called open browser. Open browser will ask me, give me the URL. So when you are doing a real time automation, all of this configs, uh, all of these URLs and everything will come from a configuration file. In case you are not sure how do we use a configuration file, I have a dedicated video on my channel where I am explaining each and every bit about config file and how can you use a config file in a plain sequence which is this. Okay, so you can refer that. I'll put the links in the description. Okay, so I am clicking on open browser in the properties. Now it will ask me what is the browser. For me, I am working with the edge. Okay, so I'll go here. And I'll select the edge browser. Once the browser is open, that means I am at this page. Now the next I have to click on the sample documents, right? That is what we have just seen. To click on the item, we will use and click activity. I'll drag and drop it inside the do of the open browser because this is where our all the operation has to perform. Indicate element inside the browser and I indicate it to the sample documents. Job done. 
good practice whenever you are doing such automation always rename the activity right so that you don't face any issues at the later part of the automation in case some exceptions are coming you will directly get this name so you don't have to struggle more to find the error right now once the robot has clicked here what is the next thing this page will get open and now we have to click on the file type so for us the file type is the xlsx format right so let me take one more click activity indicate on element and this guy right i think i selected the pptx no issues we can always indicate on screen and point it to the correct one and then i will again go to the properties and i'll say here click excel right now the bot would come here and it will click on this button now what is the next thing we have to do we had to click on this file which says 670 kb right so again it's a simple click so i take a click activity indicate it to the here and click here okay and now it will say click on the file I just rename it now my automation is completed and the bot will simply come here and click on this file right and the file will go to the download folders now if i have to write an automation where i have to use this entire file in the further part of the automation let's say you have to attach this file in the email so as of now this file is quite smaller so i do not have to wait but sometimes the file size is more if this is let's say a 5 mb 6 mb file then you have to write an automation where you have to write a retry logic retry scope to see if the file is downloaded or not then what are the next steps so if i have to further use this file in the next part of the automation once the file is downloaded i have to again go back to the download folders right from the download folders i would have to write a logic to pick the latest file and see if it is downloaded completely or not right so if i have to use this automation in further steps let's say i have to send this document as an attachment or i have to use this data in another excel what would be the next step right so the next step would be you would have to write a sequence right so you would have to drag and drop a sequence after the open browser and here you would have to write a logic to get the latest file from the downloads get the path see if it is downloaded and then continue now this all of these operations can be now handled with a single activity which is provided again by UiPath and the activity is wait for download so i hope you now understand the problem statement i'll just repeat we have downloaded something now this something can be anything excel pdf or any file right that file is now at the downloads folder now to use the further automation i have to use a retry scope i have to check whether the file is downloaded or not i have to put a dynamic delay so if you are an automation developer if the file is taking let's say five minutes ten minutes so we usually put a retry counter we put a timeout activity we just check after three minutes if it is downloaded or not and all of those logic has to be implemented to see the file is downloaded or not right now let us try to do the same automation with a new way i'll create a new sequence and i call it the wait for download we'll try to make the same automation with this guy which is called wait for download activity okay i'll hit create now so this is the new sequence which i have created i'll quickly do all the steps which i have just done so here again the same thing i'll go and use a open browser activity we have to pass the url let me quickly pull the url and i'll paste it here like this in the browser type i would select the edge browser now again here i will use one more click activity because we are trying to see the difference right that what exactly benefit i get now here i will point it to the this guy which is called sample documents now again after that i would take one more click activity and 
after the sample documents is clicked by the robot I have to click on this one right the second one so I go here and I point it to this button so this is again doing the same thing click on sample this guy is click on Excel okay excuse for the spellings now I have to click on this button now the next thing is I have to click on this 670 KB file now if you remember last time I have clicked on this activity and I have do, uh, done it like this now here I have to use an activity which is called wait for download so wait for download activity is available in system file and wait for download you simply have to drag and drop the wait for download it will open this activity for you now if you go to the properties there are minimal properties which are available the first one is again the wait for download this I will rename it to Excel download folder is by default configured here and it is called the monitored folder monitored folder means that which folder you want UiPath to monitor if the download is successful or not so in other terms if I give UiPath a task so monitored folder means I am telling UiPath that you have to go and monitor this folder which is C users Mukesh and downloads that is my default download folder you have to keep monitoring this folder till the time you get a file right so that's how I remove all the steps of logic uh, waiting timeouts retry scope everything is taken care by this simple activity now the question would what I will put in the do scope so it is simple as that on which activity your download is initiated okay so if you go back to our automation if I ask you which was that click that has downloaded the file so the answer would be when you clicked on the 670 KB file that means when this clicked happen right this sample click happen then it was downloading the file that means if you see here activity to initiate the download that means this one so you have to simply drag and drop this guy inside the wait for download that is it you have to do and if you go to the properties I will again change it to let's say click on download so I'll just repeat in the wait for activity in the do part the activity which is initiating the download that means after that activity the download is happening now it may be selecting a drop down it may be clicking on a hyperlink it may be clicking on a button so whatever activity is initiating the download that will come here monitored folder is by default this folder that means C users this guy that is my default folder again if you want to change if your default download location is somewhere else you can always change the here it is again changeable this can be again coming from a config file so you can adjust is according to your automation now one interesting thing about the wait for download activity is the output so if you go to the properties this is the timeout so let's say your activity is taking more time to complete right so the timeout is not like you are increasing the timeout it is just like I am giving an extra time let's say 30 seconds 50 seconds so I have seen that my automation is taking a maximum of let's say 50 seconds right so I will use the timeout of one minute taking a buffer of 10 seconds now if it is able to complete before the 50 seconds or 30 seconds well and good it won't reach the timeout that is not a delay this is a timeout right so if you have a more timeout you can always click on this and you can increase the timeout this is exactly the same what we see in the selector properties of timeout delays the same concept right now if you will see there is something which is called a downloaded file now this variable is a kind of file info variable and this is pretty interesting one so again to create a file info variable all you have to do is go here and hit control plus K and I will say str underscore file okay now what would happen if you go to the variables 
I can see that a variable is already created by UiPath with the correct data type, right? Now, if I try to execute this same automation, right? And let me just put a right line, okay? And here I would just say done, okay? Now, let me just put a debugger here, okay? So now let's try to run this automation in a debug mode and see how it behaves, okay? So I'll close this browser. I'll go and click on the debug file because I want to just debug the one which says wait for download. Okay. So now the automation has started. It has opened the edge browser. It will open the file. Once the it has clicked on the sample documents, right now it will click on the Excel file and now it should click on the 670. Now, if you will notice here, wait for download activity has done the same thing. The click has performed and the file is available with the name of file example xlx5000 in the bracket 4 because I may have run it 4 times. Now, I want to go back to the UiPath Studio as I have put a debugger here. Now, if you analyze the properties, we have stored the output in a variable which is called str file. And str file is a type of file info variable. What is the benefit? Now, if I want to know certain details about the file, such as what is the name of the file? So I can simply write str file dot name, the length str file dot length. What is the directory? If you want to know what is the extension, the extension is xlx. If you want to know the complete path right so this is what i wanted to show you so if i want to use this automation or this file in further part of automation i just have to use str file name dot full name and this will give me the complete path right including the download folder and the file name i don't have to use the path dot exist where i go check in the folder if the file is available not available right if you are not sure about the extension, you can use this property and all the file related stuff such as creation time, class access date and everything, whatever objects you are ha having in the str file, that is the file info, everything is accessible. All you have to do is just use this variable which is called str underscore file and use it in the further part of the automation, right? So let's say I want to use the full name for this file and I want to download this file or let's say save this file. So I just use here str file name dot okay full name dot to string. Anyways, it's string. So I will write here dot to string and uh, let me just pull one here. So let's say if I am writing here full file name is this guy. Okay, now I save everything and I again close the browser and this time we are going to run the automation. Okay, so I go here and I say run the file. Now again the same thing expectation is I should get the complete file path. So again the website is open. It will click on the sample documents, click on the Excel files, 670 KB file and this time it should be 5, right? Because last time it was 4 and again we are downloading, so it's 5. So let me go to the output and you can see that I have got a full file name that C, users, Mukesh, downloads and this guy. So now if you see the amount of code I have written, I have just used this activity and I am able to get the file name. Now, if I go to the traditional way and if I ask you to the say, do the same thing, you would have to write an automation here where you have to go to the download folders, specify the folder path. You would have to sort the file with the latest one, created date, any logic, right? Folder path, if the file is available, get that path and all of these things are now cut short. All of this single activity which can be used, which is called wait for download and you directly get all the details of file info. So this activity is again very, very useful. Now I hope you understand this thing. Let us go to the 
documentation i am on docs.uipath.com and let us now try to see what exactly uipath has to say right so detects the file initiated by an application and waits for the download to complete right it wait for the download to complete before processing anything on the file so what exactly we have to put at the activity that starts the download inside the activity so this is important you have to put only the activity which is initiating the download right in the folder you have to specify the folder where indicated application saves the download file so by default it is the download folder you can always change it and just now we have seen that we are getting a variable of file info now this file info variable is important you can use it accordingly to get the latest modified date the folder the extension the complete name anything which you want right now these are some of the steps which are given so let's say do not download multiple file at once so if you have to download multiple files download it one by one by one inside a loop or any other logic right but the idea is do not download multiple file at once at this activity so this is the same thing which we have discussed so let's say there are two activities there are three clicks which are required to download as we have seen so the first two clicks will be out inside in the open browser and the final click that initiates the download will come inside the wait for download okay now these are some of the things which you need to make sure of that the downloads folder is correctly specified okay if it is a subfolder the download folder is not detected right so make sure you pass the folder correctly next thing make sure that specified download folder does not have temporary files created such as microsoft excel the wait for download activity may mistake here for the download files okay so make sure that you do not have any temporary files created by some other application right if you feel that the automation is taking longer time to download always has an option to increase the timeout display name we have seen download folder is the same thing the folder path and in the output download path which is nothing but the file info variable and that can be used again and again okay there is a note which is says the download file must not replace an existing file with the same name in the download folder right so as of now if you will see in our automation when we are running it multiple times it is putting four five six right so it should not replace the existing one so that is something that are pretty basics right okay lastly i want to show you the dependencies so these are the dependencies which i am using if you are not getting the wait for download activity just go and update the system activities pack and you should get it the latest one okay okay so that is it for the wait for download activity i hope you found this video insightful do give it a try if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel Thank you for watching and happy automation.